Today at the Ulster Hall was the celebratory event of the Writing Home Festival. We brought the young people here today to celebrate their creativity, to celebrate who they are and to enable them to work with some really good people in the world of writing and in the world of storytelling. So we had Colm McCann, Irish author based in New York, from an organisation called Narrative 4 and the idea that he was proposing and in the workshops which he did with the children was to do story exchange and the idea that you can exchange stories to build empathy. And Lem Sesse over from London who is a long time advocate of working with young people for them to express themselves through creative writing and poetry. We took part in a digital exchange where the young people made connections with their story exchange buddies via emailing through the internet and they used that as the initial tool to begin to exchange their stories and they came today to the Ulster Hall in a culmination to exchange their stories face to face. Now, the project was funded by Claude Duffield funding and for them literature and poetry as we move forward into a more technology based era it's important that we use new technologies, new means of storytelling and marry the old and the new together. We believe that stories are the glue that hold us together. They're the emotional glue, they're the social glue, they're the psychological glue. The world is such a huge place but we just don't understand one another and, and, and in telling our stories we can shape what, what, we, what we hope to be a better place to, to, to stand upon. It's quite a phenomenal thing in this era to see two kids who are not wired to their iPhones or whatever and actually looking at each other in the eyes and it's a very organic thing. The sort of barriers uh, come falling down because, for example, we had two schools today. One was Ashfield, the other St Genevieve and they are, from what I gather, about seven miles apart in Belfast but it could be a hundred miles apart because one is a Protestant school, one is Catholic. They, they don't know much about each other other than perhaps what they've been told or what the media portrays. They actually did a story exchange and told some very, very personal stories and none of them were rooted in what we normally hear about Belfast or the media. They were, they were simple stories about home, what they consider home. It was very tangled in with family and pets. When we all gather along with my mummy and daddy, it may be loud, active and busy, but despite all that, my family is what makes a house feel like a home. Really what we're looking for is uh, for them to become ambassadors for their communities, for their neighborhoods, for their schools, and global citizens, ultimately. We want them to connect with kids from Israel, uh, with kids from Palestine, with kids from Haiti, but also to carry some of the messages and some of the, the, the things that they learn from kids around the world, from adults around the world, back to their communities so that they can engage in a new type of philanthropy and volunteering. Five verses of four lines each. For me, poetry forms a bridge between people and between themselves as well. It's a great way to uh, experience the world, really. Each line begins with you're the, so if you would all, very quickly, write you're the, you're the, you're the, four lines like that. I guess what I was doing today was I was getting the students to think of a person that they love and to write a poem about that person and yet not to reveal who that person was. I'm trying to make them see that their engagement with poetry is an engagement with their creative selves and that actually that's the most powerful part of who we are, whatever industry we're in and whatever we grow to be. It's really important that students find that they can be a lawyer and a poet, a doctor and a painter, a singer and a journalist. That they marry the creative side of themselves with the academic side of themselves and that those two are not in conflict. This will serve them for life, that idea. We are very proud to have this beautiful piece of work, which is a true intercultural arts and strategy work which Art Sector does day in, day out. And I think it has been an amazing experience. 